Okay, the Razer Blade lineup of laptops has always had one main complaint, besides the size of the bezels on the older models, and that is the battery life. Now, I recently got the Razer Blade 15, their newest Razer Blade. Um, you can check my complete walkthrough at the link below if you want to see everything about that. And I figured it was a good time to test to see if maybe the battery life has gotten any better. But I ended up kind of going down a rabbit hole of battery tests because there are just like power modes, like battery saver, balanced, performance. There's also like gaming mode within uh, Razer's own Synapse app uh, alongside other things as well. So it became very difficult for me to stop testing the battery in a bunch of different scenarios. But I finally managed to get enough data that I think I can present something to you that is of some value. So with that said, let's get started. So first up, let's just have Premiere open because that alone generally just drains more battery from a laptop than anything else that I do on it. Now I did that with the device on best performance mode with gaming mode enabled in Razer's own Synapse app as well. I left the chroma keys flashing away and left the screen refresh at 144 Hertz and brightness at 50%. Then I did it with the better battery mode, balanced mode in Synapse, chroma off, screen refresh at 60 hertz, and brightness also at 50%. And finally did it on battery saver mode, balance mode in Synapse, chroma off, screen refresh at 60 hertz, and screen brightness at 50%. And here's what happened. High performance died at about two hours and 59 minutes. followed by better battery at four hours and 16 minutes. And finally, battery saver died after nine hours and 11 minutes. Okay, and as kind of expected, better battery is better than best performance, and battery saver is actually maybe unexpectedly a lot longer lasting. But now let's try the manufacturer's most basic test, what they always use to test their battery life whenever they make claims, which is an internal video looping. So I left all of the settings identical to the last test, but this time I played a 1080p video and had it loop endlessly in full screen until each blade died. So on high performance, it lasted two hours and 35 minutes. Better battery lasted three hours and 27 minutes. And again, Battery Saver outlasted them all at seven hours and six minutes. Okay, so oddly enough, that actually took less time to kill the battery than Premiere sitting open. Probably has something to do with the fact that the video was actually playing and things were moving, but I'll get to more of why that's a concern later on. Now, in the meantime, okay, Battery Saver mode lasts longer than everything else, so why not just leave it in Battery Saver mode? What is the performance when you do that? So, for me, I mostly edit on this laptop. So I figured I'd just do uh, a render test where I render the same video on the laptop using the exact same settings as the other tests and see how the render times compare. Well, high performance did the same video in six minutes and 38 seconds, better battery six minutes and 49 seconds, and battery saver in six minutes and 57 seconds. Okay, now that's confusing for a number of reasons. The first one, which I'm sure you're also thinking is, well, if Battery Saver is so much more battery life and yet the performance is basically the same, at least in this test when rendering a video, why would I just leave it on Battery Saver all the time? And what is the point of the other two modes? Second, I know for a fact that using the Razer Blade 15 at a coffee shop and using those different modes when actually trying to edit a video, that there's no way it lasts anywhere near those times of Premiere just being open. So something has to be happening versus it sitting still and actually running stuff. So I figured the only way to truly settle this was to actually do a real world test where I sat down and edited a video in Premiere using battery saver and then also best performance mode just kind of as a control and see what the difference is there in terms of how long it takes to die. And as it turns out, battery saver mode lasted an hour and 37 minutes, whereas best performance mode lasted an hour and 34 minutes. Basically, they were the same. So it would turn out then that despite the mode that you set, even battery saver mode, once the computer is under heavy load from an intense application like Premiere Pro, it basically just gives all of the power 
to it. And regardless of whether it was on best performance or battery saver, it ended up pretty much doing the same thing, rendering in the same amount of time and dying in the same amount of time. So to conclude, uh, it would turn out that if you're using any like heavy use or intense application like Premiere Pro, for example, you're gonna maybe get about an hour and a half of battery life using this laptop, regardless of the mode that you choose and all of the different settings, Chrome didn't make a difference, none of that made a difference in my tests at least. And then if you're doing something less intensive, say web browsing or running an internal video, you'll get maybe about three hours or three and a half hours on balance mode, but you can actually increase that by a lot by turning it to battery saver where I got about seven hours out of that. So maybe just always kind of leave it on battery saver is not the worst idea, at least it seems to me. Now you guys, a battery test on the Razer Blade 15. Let me know what you guys think of the results uh, in the comments below. By the way, my Razer Blade 15 is the top model for anyone that's about to ask. Now if you like this video, please thumbs up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And don't forget to check the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do videos because YouTube seems to not notify anybody about anything anymore. But regardless, as always, thanks for watching.